My name's Bill Wagman, staff writer for Ohio Valley Outdoor Publications. Today, I have a Colt Government 1911 and 22 long rifle. Now this is made in Germany by Walder. It's licensed by Colt and imported by Umarex USA. Now this comes in three models, a standard, a railgun, and a gold cup. Some of the features that they have in common are a five inch barrel, the receiver and the frame are all metal construction, it has drift adjustable front and rear sights. There is a manual thumb safety. There's a grip safety with a beaver tail. It has blowback cycling of the bolt and it is single action. Now it comes with one 12 round magazine unless limited by state law to 10 rounds. Now this is the rail gun. You can tell by the Picatinny rail. It has front and rear serrations on the slide. It has a skeletonized hammer. It has an open work trigger. It has an extended manual safety, and it also has the large beaver tail. Now the gold cup has the same features as the rail gun, but it has an adjustable rear sight and no rail. Size-wise, the length, width, and height are nearly identical to a Colt 1980 RG and 45 Auto. The only difference is this weighs about 5 ounces less. Now the trigger is better than expected for a 22. There's about 1 16th of an inch take up and then the sear release is crisply at about 5 and 3 quarters to 6 pounds. Racking the slide with the hammer in the forward or fired position only takes 9.5 to 10 pounds. With the hammer back, it only takes 5 pounds to rack the slide. Being rimmed, 22 cartridges have a tendency not to stack neatly, but this 1911 magazine is designed so that the top round aligns properly for feeding. For doing some range testing, Umarex recommends using RWS, CCI, Winchester, and Federal ammunition. Bulk pack ammunition is not recommended. Now I tested the 1911 three different ways. First off, fair accuracy. What I did was I equipped it with a beam shot laser. I shot 13 different cartridges from five manufacturers. And as you can see from these photos, no group was over one inch at 25 feet. And surprisingly, this was 39 straight shots without a break. The second test was with 10 different cartridges. I shot 100 rounds of each one with a quick cleaning in between. Now I varied the speed of fire, double tap, two second increment, one second increment, and fast fire. I only had one Winchester Wildcat and one Remington Golden Bullet fail to extract. And at 80 rounds with Federal Lightning, I had to do a quick clean of the feed ramp. In firing over 1,000 rounds, I only had one failure to load, and that was possibly my own fault. The third test was just some straight, raw, live fire, fast shooting. I'm also going to report that my, based on my numerous contacts with Umarex, customer service really gets an A for answering all of my questions. Now the manufacturer's suggested retail price for the Colt Government 1911 varies from $430 to $494 depending on the model.